What's up gamers? GamerDad here. This is a guide to help you complete the week 11 weekly quest, damage opponents with an epic or better weapon. If you haven't subscribed or used my creator code yet, please do so. I greatly appreciate the support. So we need to get a total of 500 units of damage on either players or guards or bosses. Now guards are definitely the way to go here. Now you can find guards at Brutal Beachhead and Redline Rig or the Nitro Drome. There's a few other places where you could come across what are considered guards at the Forecast Towers. And that is another option here. You could go after the Forecast Tower, but I recommend coming here right from the Battle Bus. You're going to get yourself that weapon, and then you're going to Redline Rig. So why do I say go to P-Boys HQ here? And that is because you've got two options. One, there's lots of loot here and across the way if you really are against spending bars. But if you've got a couple hundred gold bars to spend, you're going to speak to Peabody uh, here. And Peabody sells this epic rarity hammer pump shotgun. So I've used this tactic for a couple other quests. It works well, and that's why I'm going to kind of go over it again here. But you're going to come here, purchase this weapon. Otherwise, you could have found any other epic rarity or, or higher weapon to utilize. We're going to hop in the car, and we're going to go straight to Red Line Rig. It's super close. And right here, these are the guards you're going to go after. Now just make sure you switch to your weapon that you've just purchased. And you'll notice they don't actually attack you until they're provoked. Someone, at this point, this guard is running for something, which means another player must have hit one of the other guards or the boss. So like I say, they won't attack you until you attack them. That's 124 damage off of two shots. You can see another one there running in the distance. He's clearly going after the other player. So this will be a score. He's not even paying attention to me at this point. So now I'm halfway through. Two guards eliminated halfway through the challenge. Now there's multiple guards all throughout this structure. And there's also the boss who is also going to count here. And I'm sure you'll also come across a player like I did here. So after taking out that player and two opponents, I'm almost at the 400 of 500 required mark. One other strategy though, if you're confident, is you could go straight for the boss. As long as the medallion's here, which you can see in the top little minimap, you can easily get the 500 damage just on the boss alone. Hope the guide is helpful. Please drop a like, leave me a comment, and if you haven't subscribed or used my creator code, please do so. I greatly appreciate the support. Good luck with the challenge, and until the next video, this is GamerDad out.